Hey, Redneck in a Hat here. We're here live at uh, Chief Stadium today. It's the day after the game's Sunday. This is Monday. We're out here. Uh, just came out to uh, take a moment, analyze the situation as far as standing up for the national anthem until uh, the commissioner uh, resigns or, you know, makes some drastic changes with the players. I'm, I'm done with football. Um, that's that's all there is to it. A lot of the uh, teams took a nail, stayed in the locker room during the national anthem. The commissioner, you know, is uh, supporting them, but yet he can't support um, other things. He he takes and chooses what the NFL should support, as far as something morally right or something. But uh, I don't agree with it. And with that, I, I can do as I please with uh, going to games, buying merchandise. I'm gonna have a, a little party tonight. Hope you, hope you stick around and watch some of the rest of the video. But uh, like I say, Arrowhead Stadium, um, Mr. Hunt that, that, that runs this show here, um, I hope you, you're happy because you, you lost a lot of fans yesterday and with that you lost a lot of sales and tickets, merchandise, um, I don't know. You got a lot of bad publicity yesterday. Uh, I don't see that anything was good coming out of it. The national anthem, the U.S. flag has nothing to do with uh, what they're protesting about. In fact, these protesters ought to be singing the national anthem at their protests and waving, waving their flags high. If they want, if they want to get things changed in in the U.S. about something that they're protesting about, they're gonna to have to go about it differently because taking it out on the country, the national anthem, the flag, that's that's not right. Getting rid of uh, all of our chief stuff. Nice night for a bonfire, but wish we could have used uh, something else for the fuel. But uh, so be it. We're standing with the flag. Burn, baby, burn. Redneck in a hat. Thanks for watching.